I'm not quite as conventional as some, but uh, I can play the game. Uh, I, when I was a kid, uh, my playmates, we played golf together, and uh, we never had a golf lesson, so neither one of us knew what we were doing as far as grips. So uh, we all learned to play cross handling. Uh, it was about seven years before I knew I was cross handling, and I probably wouldn't have known then, but someone reminded me that I was gripping the club wrong. And uh, that's the way I started, and uh, seemed like that's the way it's going to end. Uh, these friends of mine, I didn't know they played cross-handed until maybe 35 years later. I, they went away to another city, and uh, late on in the years, I met them and went out to play golf. And I looked at them and I said, "You guys play cross-handed?" They said, "Yes." I said we was watching you when you were a kid playing, and that's the way we started playing too. And they're fairly decent, good golf, uh, fairly decent golfers. Uh, uh, they shoot in the high 70s, low 80s, probably could play better than that, but they all have families and they work. But uh, I have been very successful cross-handed, and uh, I tried to convince in a way several times, but it seemed like I was going to break my wrist when I made contact with the ball. So I, I guess this is... Placing our hands correctly on the club will enable us to make that smooth swing we were talking about earlier. The grip is not a vice grip on the club, it's a very natural thing. It's just like when you go to clap your hands, see how my hands face each other? I'll use a yardstick to demonstrate this. Put your VCR on pause and go get your yardstick. As you can see when I grip the yardstick, my hands are not opposing each other. They're balanced here on the yardstick. As you grip your yardstick, you should feel the yardstick in your fingers. The left hand is not over too far, nor is the right hand over too far. The hands are facing each other. Now let's use a golf club. I'm going to use this specially marked glove to show you the proper positions of the left hand on the golf club. Now let's look at it from above my shoulder. Let's first talk about the placement of the left hand on the golf club. You'll notice how my glove is marked, side and the pad. When you place your left hand on the golf club, the club should be diagonal at the base of the fingers and in the palm. The pad should be on top of the club. Notice that? You'll also notice that there's a V formed here. I've taken a marker, I'll take a marker and mark it. This V should point to the right side of your face. You can also see that I have two knuckles showing. In women, I do prefer to have at least two knuckles showing, sometimes three. This is a little bit stronger grip, but it will gain you more power. In placing the right hand on the club, the club is placed down in the fingers of the right hand, and the fingers slide up snugly against the fingers of the left hand. The left thumb fits just underneath the lifeline of the right thumb, just like this. The V of the right hand should also point in the same direction of the V of your left hand. What we've just discussed is the baseball grip. The interlocking grip is when the index finger and the right little finger interlock. The overlapping is when they overlap. Notice that? I recommend most beginner golfers starting with the 10 finger or baseball grip. However, the most common grip which is used on tour is the overlapping. Notice how my hands are positioned on the club and are working together as a unit. My left hand and arm stabilize the club as I swing back and through to the hole. I can't stress how important it is for you to keep the pad on top of the grip. If you have it too weak a grip, in other words, if your pad is open here, you can't grip the club real firmly. A little test for this is to take the last three fingers off of the golf club. You should be able to support the club properly here. However, if your pad is off the club, 
and you take your last three fingers off, you'll notice how weak that is. So make sure that your pad is on top of the golf club. Here's a summary of the grip. The grip must be naturally balanced. The club is placed down in the fingers of the left hand with the pad on top. The right hand slips onto the grip in the fingers and covers up the left thumb. The V's should then point toward your right shoulder and you should see at least two knuckles. Keep a light grip pressure on the club, which will allow you to make a nice, smooth, flowing swing. Now, first of all, the grip to start with, to make it simple, our arms are hanging down from the body, from the shoulders, like so. And as you come around here, you'll see the palm of the right hand and the back of the left hand are facing the target. This is your natural position, and when you make a swing, that's the position those hands will seek to come back to at impact of the ball. So let's start with that as our grip. So, put the back of the left hand towards the hole, put the palm of the right hand towards the hole. Line that up with the bottom of the club, the leading line of the club here. So with those two together, that's the start of a pretty good grip. You can't be too far wrong with it. Now we make certain modifications from that. Uh, the good players will have the hand straight up and down. The strong players, you might say, were these V's, the thumb and index finger of both hands pointing straight up and down. The little weaker players, we let them move these hands a little bit to the right, but don't ever do it very much because remember what I said? The palm of the right hand wants to seek to come back towards your target, square to your target, and the back of the left hand. So when you have that ter tremendous centrifugal force that the club is, is picking up as it's going through the ball, those hands will seek to be square. So if this hand is way over here, say the right hand is way over here, and that hand seeks to square up to get where it wants to be, then the blade's going to be really closed. So, or, and you'll hit a big hook, or, of course, if you want you hit a few big hooks, then you're going to end up trying to reverse to compensate for it, and you've got another problem in there. So mm -hmm. you have the palm of the right hand, back of the left hand, facing the target. Move the hands a little bit to the right for the weaker player, more straight up and down for the, for the real good, strong player. Now, how do you hold on to the club? Well, it's held more in the palm.